Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the MLB slate on DraftKings for Wednesday, June 27th. Um, I'm just going to cover the main slate for today. There is a three game early slate, but since it's only three games, I'll still probably be playing it, I'm sure, but, but not going to make a video on it since it's just a three game slate. Uh, so we'll look at the 11 night games, uh, talk about the pitching options, of course, talk about bats and BVP play stacks as well. Uh, but before we do get started, guys, I would really appreciate it if you would give the video a like. It definitely means a lot to me. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below so that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, but yeah, pitcher today, we got two options over 10K. Uh, Shamanaya is listed in the DK player pool, but he's not pitching for Detroit today or for Oakland. It's going to be Chris Bassett pitching for the Athletics. So Bumgarner and Robbie Ray are two options over 10K that we have today, and I'm not very interested in either guy. Uh, Bumgarner, 11200 I just feel like that is too much of a price tag. Uh, obviously, you like the matchup at home against the Rockies. But like I said, I think Bumgarner is a little bit too expensive. Uh, he did finally show kind of some signs of his former self in his last game against the Padres. Eight innings, three hits, two walks, eight strikeouts. Uh, but that was the Padres. The Rockies are a much better team. They have much better hitters in general. Uh, and like I said, the price tag is the main reason, 11-2. Just don't know if Bumgarner has the upside to pay that off, at least right now in his career. And then Robbie Ray. I would love Robbie Ray here, but there's a good chance he's going to be restricted today. Uh, if we do get news that Robbie Ray is not going to be restricted at 10K versus the Marlins, I think Robbie Ray is a, a great play today. But like I said, uh, he's expected to be restricted. He only threw 66 pitches in his most recent rehab start. Uh, so there's a good chance he'll face some restrictions Wednesday. That's from the DK uh, news supplied, abro supplied by Rotowire. So they're expecting him to be restricted. You would think he'd be restricted as well, coming off the DL. Uh, so I'm going to shy away from Robbie Ray. I like two mid-tier options. The first guy I like, Kyle Gibson, 8,500 versus the White Sox. Really like Kyle Gibson here. Uh, Gibson's a guy that I've picked on in the past, but this is a guy that's definitely turned things around. Just been a much more improved pitcher. Uh, he's pitched well as of late. He's pitched well against the White Sox uh, in the past. He's pitched against them once this year. Did allow three runs six through six and two-thirds innings. Uh, got eight strikeouts against them. Finished with 21 DraftKings points. Uh, he did only allow four hits, so I would imagine those runs came off of home runs. Do really like Gibson here at 8500 I think this is a good price tag for him. This is a guy that does have upside, can rack up strikeouts, could easily see him getting 25, close to 30 DK points. Uh, and I do like him at 8500 as an SP1. And then my SP2 to pair with him, another mid-tier play right there in price. I like Shane Bieber. He's 8400 versus the Cardinals. I think this is a good spot for Shane Bieber. This is another guy that has a lot of talent. Uh... He's only started three games this year for the Indians. He started two against Minnesota, then against the Tigers. Through those three games, he's got six, seven, and nine strikeouts, 34, 22, and 11 DraftKings points. So he's been consistent. He's shown upside. This is a Cardinals team uh, that not very good, not a team I'm really afraid to take pitchers against, especially when they're going to be pitching in the Cardinals stadium, in Bush Stadium, which is a pitcher's park. Although it is going to be hot and humid, uh, it's still a pretty decent pitcher's park in the National League. Bieber will be able to face the opposing pitcher. Uh, the Cardinals won't have a DH. The top of that lineup, I would say, is a little scary with Carpenter, Pham, uh, Martinez, Ozuna. But when you get to like 6 through 9 with Fowler, Garcia, Wong, Flaherty, just a lot of strikeouts there. Uh, guys that aren't very good hitters either. Really like Shane Bieber here. think he has upside in 8,400. Pairing him with Gibson still leaves me a ton of salary to pay for bats. Uh, there's value hitters I like today, but there are definitely studs I want to pay for. And I can kind of include a little bit of both when I go with these two mid-tier options. Uh, so these are pitchers I like, kind of the pitchers I'm building around. We talk about some of the other options, some of the other like pitchers in that price range. You've got Alex Wood against the Cubs, who I feel like people might go to. Same with Kyle Freeland. I think people might go to Kyle Freeland as well. Uh, but I would prefer Gibson. I would pre prefer Bieber if you're just choosing guys like in that price range. For like the value, I think people might be on Zach Wheeler today because he's at home, 6,300. Uh, Wheeler did look really good. Through, the, uh, through like four or five innings against the Dodgers. Then he allowed like a four-run home run. I think he allowed a grand slam to Cody Bellinger, but he was pitching a gym against the Dodgers. He did get seven strikeouts in that game. Uh, although the Pirates don't strike out a lot, this is going to be a game that's played in the National League. Uh, it's going to be a pitcher's park. Wheeler's at home. He's only 6,300. Could definitely be a value play if you're looking to go really cheap. Uh, but I think that is it for the pitchers I'm on today. We'll start, uh, we'll start at first base and talk about a value play that I like here, very cheap. Logan Morrison, 3,300. Gets a matchup today with James Shields. 
A uh, matchup he has had a ton of success in in the past. Has good BVP versus James Shields. He's gone 8 for 27 with a home run. So I really like Mo uh, Morrison here. The guy's been hitting the ball a lot better as of late. Uh, just to start the season with the Twins, he was absolutely terrible. Uh, but lately, he's been hitting the ball well, been hitting the ball a lot harder. And versus James Shields, this is a pitcher I've picked on all year. Sometimes it's worked, sometimes it hasn't. Don't mind picking on him today with guys like Rosario, Escobar, Logan Morrison, Dozier's got really good BVP versus Shields. I think that like 2 through 5, 2 through 6, even with Grossman, you could definitely go to that stack today if you do want to go there. Uh, really like Morrison. Cheap value play, 3300 If you're wanting to pay up for Bumgarner today, you're probably going to need value at hitter, and I think that's where you kind of can look to the Twins. Uh, but yeah, my last two plays are both going to be in the outfield. Both kind of stud hitters I like here. First off, Mookie Betts. Uh, 6K versus Andrew Heaney. Very expensive price tag, but Mookie Betts this year has just been absolutely crushing lefties. Heaney is a pretty good lefty. He's actually a pretty good pitcher. Uh, but the numbers that Mookie Betts have versus, has versus lefties this year are just absolutely insane. So I think this is a great spot for him. Uh, I've got the salary to pay up for him going with two mid-tier pitchers. I just think he has a ton of upside here. Uh, Mookie Betts versus a lefty, that's going to be a thing we target all year. Anytime Mookie plays or is in a matchup with a lefty, really no matter who it is, dude has to be on your radar. He's on my radar today. I've got the salary to pay up for him. Uh, dude has the most upside, I feel like, out of all the hitters in the league right now. Mike Trout's kind of in a slump a little bit. Uh, Mookie Betts just been crushing the ball every night. Homered on Tuesday night, I, I believe it was, like on the first pitch of the game. Dude's just an absolute beast. Love him here. 6K versus Heaney. Uh, and then my next play, my final play, is going to be another sort of stud hitter. Chris Davis, 4,900 versus Mike Fiers. I love Chris Davis here. Uh, this is a guy that has a ton of power, has power versus righties. Uh, Mike Fiers is a pitcher we know. Will give up home runs. Will give up home runs to righties. I believe Chris Davis has pr had some good success in this matchup throughout the past, uh, if I'm not mistaken. There's no BVP on Rotowire that I'm seeing, but... I believe he has done well in the past versus Fires. I know he's homered off of him a couple times. I just think this is a great matchup for him. Uh, dude has a ton of power. 20 home runs on the year. Could definitely take Fires deep. Fires is a pitcher that gives up home runs. Um, so yeah, guys, these are my five plays for today. Kyle Gibson, Shane Bieber, Logan Morrison, Mookie Betts, and Chris Davis. Uh, now we'll talk about some stacks and BVP plays today. Uh, before we get out of here, so stacks for me, I don't think I'm stacking up the Red Sox today, but the guys like Mookie, JD, Bogarts, I can kind of fit these guys in because I went cheap at pitcher. Definitely like them, not going full stack on the Red Sox, but they're really, you know, the stud hitters, JD, Mookie, those are kind of the guys I'm looking to. But like full stacks, really like Oakland versus Fires, and I do like, uh, where is it, uh, the Twins versus James Shields. The Twins and Oakland, two teams I think I'm going to be pretty heavy on. Um, if you want to consider some of the righties versus Clayton Richard, uh, Richard's not a pitcher I believe in. He's going to be out of Petco here, having to go to Texas, where it looks like it's going to be 101 degrees tomorrow. The ball should be flying in that ballpark. Definitely like the guys like Andrus, Beltre, Profar, Torinos. Torinos probably the top catcher option on this slate, 3,400. Uh, I do like the Rangers, like the Twins, and I think the Red Sox, some of the one-offs there with Mookie, JD, you can go to. Also look to Oakland as well. I do like Oakland versus Fires. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to BVP. We'll talk about some of the BVP plays on this slate. We'll cover them all since it's only about 10 of them. Uh, so starting off, a couple of these Angels have hit Porcello well. Cole Calhoun, 7 for 22 with two home runs. Ian Kinsler, 11 for 22. And Albert Pujols, 10 for 29 with a home run versus Porcello. Jose Bautista, 9 for 29 with a home run versus Ivan Nova. Uh, Dozier, Morrison, and Rosario have all hit James Shields well. Uh, Dozier's 13 for 42 with four home runs. Morrison, 8 for 27 with a home run. And Eddie Rosario, 3 for 14 with a home run. Uh, Cargo's 19 for 59 with five home runs versus Bumgarner. And then Gorky Hernandez, Nick Hundley, and Joe Panic have all hit Kyle Freeland well. Uh, Gorky, 6 for 15 with a home run. Nick Hundley, 5 for 14 with a home run. And Joe Panic is 7 for 12. Uh, but then moving on to PVB, the pitchers that have done well in their matchups. We got four pitchers that have done well, or at least three, three pitchers, excuse me. Keiko's pitching in the early slate. Uh, so Rick Porcello versus the Angels. He's done well in this matchup. It's a 299 average that the Angels have hit against him, so I'm not really sure that's doing well. I'm not sure why that's showing the hot matchup. Uh, but the Angels have hit him for a 299 average. I would say that's pretty poor. 49 hits, 14 extra base hits, and 7 home runs through 164 at-bats. Uh, so I would actually say that Porcello's probably got some poor PVB. Uh, Mike Fires, he has done well against the A's. A's have only hit Fires for a 187 average. 12 hits, 4 extra base hits, and 3 home runs through 64 ABs. And then Kyle Gibson, 
he has done well against the White Sox. White Sox have hit Gibson, or only hit Gibson for a 205 average through 88 at, through 88 at bats, 18 hits, eight extra base hits, and a home run. Um, then the pitcher that has done poorly that has struggled is Kyle uh, Kyle Freeland. He has struggled against the Giants. Um, you do have to factor in Coors Field though. I'm sure a lot of this sample has been played in Coors Field, but anyways, Giants have hit him for a 346 average. 36 hits, 6 extra base hits, and 3 home runs through 104 ABs versus Freeland. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for PVV and BVP on this 11-game main slate, and that is it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vid. Hopefully it helped you. If you did enjoy, make sure you give the video a like before you get out of here, and if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe as well. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitter, at the DFS underscore go, or feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it, and good luck tonight on this 11-game slate. See you.